Hey guys, thanks for being patient. We're just gonna wait another five minutes because we got a quite a big crowd tonight. There's a ton of people in the lobby just grabbing their snacks. We'll give them about five and then we'll get rolling. Thank you. Snacks! snacks. Did anybody cut through the moors to get to the theater tonight? That's what I thought. I love the Toronto moors. Not a lot of people know about them. Parkdale. That's what makes them cool. Parkdale, yeah! Yeah, there's other things going on there these days. My name's Dave Alexander. I'm here to welcome you to our 30th anniversary screening of John Lannis's An American Werewolf in London. We're super happy to have you here tonight. And if you're a fan of the film, we have our cover issue for sale in the lobby. And we're also doing a poster sale. We're blowing the big ones out for five bucks and the little ones out for two bucks tonight. So if you're hurting for some room morgue art, tonight's the night. Is there anybody here that has never seen this film? Uh, right on. This is, what a great way to see a classic for the first time. All right. All right. So the weather's warming up. We're getting into film festival season and all that good stuff. So we got all kinds of announcements. Fun stuff tonight, bear with me. Um, we're gonna say thank you to Remark Radio, Vagrancy Films, and Exclaim. Um, usually we have trailers from uh, Vagrancy, but tonight I wanna thank Eric Villette for donating his trailers to use. He came in because the guys from Vagrancy are busy putting uh, Shock Sock together right now. Um, and we have a, I have a special guest here tonight. I came across this guy online who uh, claims he actually has been stricken with uh, lycanthropy. Um, his name is uh, Milt, he's from Scarborough. Uh, do you want to come up here, Milt? I want to interview you. Come on up, buddy. Uh, so um, thanks a lot for coming out tonight and uh, talking about this unusual condition. Um, obviously the first question is, uh, how, how did you become a werewolf? Wait, you don't, David, you don't become a werewolf, but that'd be like asking somebody, well, how did you become Chinese? Like, <laughs> you either are a werewolf or you're not a werewolf. So you were born this way? Yes. Excellent, that's good to know. Um, so then, what happens exactly when you change? Well, it's not all romanticized like in the movies. It's actually pretty grotesque. Um, werewolfism is, is not glamorous. Let me just spell that for you. Um, I have, uh, I find myself having really bizarre cravings. Um, I'm aroused by things that you probably shouldn't be aroused by. Uh, can't walk into the pet store. Uh, zoo is out of the question. It's probably a good idea. Um, and uh, so, but we're okay tonight because it's, it's not a full moon. I mean, we're a few days uh, past that, I believe. Again, David, <coughs> the moon will trigger it, but it doesn't start and end with the moon. Okay, like, uh, a sound recording of Michael Jackson's Thriller or Ozzy Osbourne's Bark at the Moon could, uh, could do this. Um, certain foods, um, someone, expose themselves to a moon me? You, you mean you can, you can start undergoing some kind of a change if someone were to moon you? It's, it's very likely, yes. Does anybody want to moon him? <laughs> Seriously. I want to see what happens if he gets a, gets a little taste of the uh, lunar back end. You know what else triggers it, David? What's that? Blowjobs. <laughs> Do we have any volunteers? Okay. Not even a moon? Well, what if it was just, oh, there's a volunteer for some mooning. 
You put your hand over. Is that for the blowjobs? Those notes for the moon? Okay. I thought you guys wanted to see this happen. So we gotta, somebody's got to stand up and give this guy a little bit of a moon if we want to see him change. Just a little bit. Oh, I see a volunteer right there. Alright. Let's see what happens by the light of this full moon. Are you feeling a change? I'm feeling a change. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. I'm just gonna go see if he's okay, hang on. Hey, hey, are you? Oh, God. Are you? You're not okay. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, we'll take care of this. Okay. It's okay, guys. I, I don't know what would have happened if it was a real moon, um, but I think, I think we're gonna be okay. He doesn't smell too bad. And he's pretty cute. Do you want to help, help me uh, give away some prizes, Milt? Oh. Here, we'll set you down. You little vest. Oh, sweet. Okay, well, we'll let Milt walk around for a while. I don't know if we need a blowjob to reverse the change. I don't know, we'll, we'll just roll with it for now. Um, so we're gonna give away some prizes, we always do trivia. I'll ask five trivia questions. If you know the answer, don't yell it out. Just stand up, get my attention, put your hand up. I'll pick you, if you get it right, come on up and get a prize from the one and only associate editor, Trevor Tominski. All right, who knows the name of John Landis' new film? The one that isn't out yet, in the balcony. Burke and Hare, you got it, about the grave diggers. Come on down, buddy. Say hi to Milk. Um, Rick Baker is the man behind the incredible creature effects you're gonna see in the movie tonight. Uh, what did he just win and what was it for? It's sort of a two-part question. Bit of a two-parter. You, sir, right there with the black t-shirts. Yep, you, stand up, stand up. He Academy Award for the Wolfman remake. You got it. Oh, no. Is there anyone here wearing an American werewolf themed t shirt tonight? No, gloves. Gloves? Who, you dressed up like a werewolf? We gotta give the full moon guy a present. All right. It's the least we can do. <laughs> All right. American werewolf co star Jenny Agater. Also appeared in what, 1976 sci-fi film. I know there's a, that, the double arms right there, I can tell you're a fan. Logan's Run. Logan's Run. Love that movie. Do you like it, Milton? <laughs> All right, let's do one more. What's the name of the pub in the film? In the film tonight, there's a pub. It's central to the story. What's the name of it? I'm going back up to the balcony. Right there, two arms. The Slaughtered Land. You got it. Come on down. All right, we'll get this rolling shortly, but let's do some announcements. Tomorrow, Room Org Radio at RoomOrgRadio.com. We have a classic episode featuring Dexter's Julie Benz, The Blood Spattered Guide on Ozzy Osbourne, Gourmet, who's here tonight filming, is guesting as a caustic critic. And uh, awesome tunes from Toon Dragomir. And Milt, maybe. Um, don't forget, we got Cinema Cobb t-shirts for sale. Support Cinema Cobb, help us bring in guests, get cool prints and all that good stuff. Uh, for sale in the back, signed by Justin. Um, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter. 
and you want to hit the website because we're starting to announce all kinds of cool stuff for the Festival of Fear. And as well, you can check out, we posted it today. Yeah, Festival of Fear. Starting soon, the announcements. Um, we also posted a trailer for the new issue that has John Waters on the cover. That's our May issue. And uh, he did it, he actually recorded a special segment just for us for this trailer. Uh, so if you're a fan of Chud, especially, you want to see this because he talks about Chud. All right, also coming up, Hymns from the House of Horror 2. That is our free downloadable compilation of horror tunes, which was put together by Trevor. He did a hell of a job on it. You get 20 tracks for free. There's rarities, unreleased stuff, remixes. Um, we got guys on there like Guar, Darkest of the Hillside, Thickets, Calibres, the other, the Creeping Crods, the Young Werewolves, and Corpus, who's got a new documentary coming out called Surrender to the Passion. If you're a Corpus fan, like I am, a big fucking Corpus fan, in fact, um, you gotta come see him. He's uh, gonna be playing next Friday at the Wrong Bar at 8pm and they're going to show a preview of the documentary. But if you have never seen Corpus, and it, it's an experience like no other. Imagine Gene Simmons crossed with Divine from space. It's amazing. Quick announcement from our friends at Toronto After Dark Film Festival. Yeah, let's hear it. of horror, sci-fi, action, and cult cinema, sponsored by none other than Room Org, taking place this October 20th to 27th, right here at the Bloor Cinema. Official call for entries will begin next week. New this year will be Bumpers After Dark. It's a contest for fans to make 30-second videos to play in between films. Complete details at torontoafterdark.com. Lastly, and then we'll get to the Moors. Uh, next month, Thursday, May 19th, join us here for the world premiere of the Restored Director's Cut of the original Mother's Day. So you can check out the original one, the sleazy, trauma, awesome exploitation explosion uh, by uh, Lloyd Kaufman's brother, Charles Kaufman, uh, right here. And then he's gonna join us on Skype for an interview. So you can ask him what he was on when he made the film. <laughs> All right, it's time. Woo! Melt and I, thank you for being here tonight. Enjoy the film. Come on, buddy. Bye-bye. <laughs>